today's video, we will look at two of the most interesting software in 2D animation, OpenTunes and Grace Pencil in Blender, and hopefully we will help you find good software to start with. Before we continue, let me tell you about Skillshare, which is a platform that has hundreds of classes about animation, drawing, illustration, and several other creative fields. We have covered a lot of videos on our channel about OpenTunes, so now we've got you guys this course from Skillshare, which will help you learn the 2D software. It's a beginner course that anyone can join, and it is taught by Nicolas Fork, who will teach you how to create all the essentials of OpenTunes, and you will be trained in different things like character creation, and animation, but also a bouncing ball or image animation. The Skillshare platform offers a wide variety of additional related courses, and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free month of premium membership. Alright, now back to the video. Software Overview Blender Grease Pencil Blender is a free, open-source 3D package with so many different utilities like creating 3D models, 3D animation, motion captures, and virtual reality apps. But did you know that it is capable of making 2D animations as well? Yes, it may sound strange to think of making 2D art in a 3D environment, but with the help of an incredible tool like Grease Pencil, all becomes possible. Grease Pencil is a Blender object and one of the main tools used to make 2D animation and art. By offering 2D tools fully immersed in a 3D environment, it allows you to draw within 3D viewport as a collection of points, which are defined as a stroke. Grease Pencil offers you a range of advanced tools for modeling simulation rendering, animation, and compositing. It can also be used to make traditional 2D animation, cutout animation, motion graphics, and more. OpenTunes On the flip side, OpenTunes is another open source software option for 2D animation. It is the free version of Tunes, which has been used for a long time by big studios such as Studio Ghibli and Rough Draft Studios. OpenTunes is dubbed Toons Ghibli Edition because of all the custom features that Toons has developed over the years for the legendary Japanese studio. And just like the paid version, it provides features for the entire animation process, from scanning and transforming traditional drawing tools to raster and vector-based drawing tools, special effects, and rendering. Interface Regarding the UI, OpenTunes' interface is organized into rooms, also known as workspaces. Available rooms are listed in the upper right of the menu bar, and each room is a different collection of windows that are laid out in specific positions on the screen. The canvas, which is infinite and can be scrolled, zoomed in or out, and rotated as desired, is where we will sketch and view our work. On the left side, we will find the toolbar that contains tools to draw, select and edit drawings, and to animate objects like the camera. All the way on the right and unlike other animation software, we have the X sheet, which is basically a vertical timeline that allows you to manage the scene content. Next to the X sheet, we have the level strip, which displays the sequence of images or frames listed out for the current level selected in the X sheet. Finally, we find the level palette panel with some color options by going deep to the bottom. In addition to all of that, the interface can be fully customized. Rooms can be named and their order can be rearranged as we can add new rooms and delete the existing ones. Jumping to Grease Pencil, as soon as you open Blender in the splash screen, you can choose between different workspaces like General, 2D Animation, Sculpting, and etc. But the 2D Animation workspace is the best choice to use the Grease Pencil tool, though you can draw in any other workspace. By default, we will be in Draw Mode, where we can draw immediately. Then we can switch between Object, Edit, Sculpt, Draw, and Weight Paint modes using the top left menu, with a few additional attributes to pick the brush and change settings like color, radius, strength, and so on. The menu bar will appear above it. The toolbar, which is accessible by moving to the left, contains handy tools including the pencil, fill, eraser, and cutter tool. We have a few panels on the opposite side, including the scene collection, grid and modifier, and layers. Sadly, there are so many that we are unable to delve further. Finally, the timeline and dope sheet, which are crucial for animation and are located at the bottom of our screen. Tools and Features Grease Pencil 
Grease Pencil comes with interesting drawing tools and great capabilities that combine the power of 2D and 3D. Grease Pencil is a vector-based system. It means you can modify every aspect of your drawings and animations and with a good variety of brushes and a basic layering system. You can draw and animate on a 2D plane in a 3D space. You can also draw in 3 dimensions and on top of 3D objects. Moreover, there is a modifier that adds Grease Pencil lines to your 3D geometry automatically. Also, it supports onion skinning, which shows ghosts of the keyframes before and after the current frame, allowing animators to make the animation smoother. You can edit several frames simultaneously with a multi-frame feature. This also works for drawing and coloring. Extremely useful to avoid making a repetitive task one frame at a time when animating. Open Tunes OpenTunes has cool features as well that have been iterated based on the opinions of production staff. We will take a look at some, starting with the scanning and clean up images by auto-centering to align each drawing according to the peg bar holes and line processing to identify the drawing's line art. Finally, image cropping and resizing to make the drawings fit properly with a camera. Just as Grease Pencil, in OpenTunes we have onion skinning as well, which is available in both the X-Sheet slash timeline and the level strip. Another cool feature is rotoscoping, which consists of tracing drawings and taking a live clip as a reference, which can speed up your workflow. Learning Curve Blender, including Grease Pencil, has a steep learning curve that will take time, patience, and plenty of dedicated practice before you get comfortable with the software. But once you get the basics down, Blender becomes intuitive compared to other 3D programs like Maya and Cinema 4D. In addition to the community of users available online, support can be found at any time. On the other hand, OpenTunes features and tools are designed to be used in specific ways that might not be intuitive, but still, it is a great program to learn basic animations once you get your head around how the workflow is designed. If you're struggling to understand the program, there are pretty good supporting documents that could be of great help. Industries both OpenTunes and Blender are heavily used. When it comes to 3D art, Blender is mostly used in the film and video game industries that require 3D environment support. On top of that, many 2D studios are experimenting with Grease Pencil or already using it. So learning Grease Pencil can open opportunities for you. Similarly, OpenTunes is highly used in the animation industry, especially in Japan. Even though Mary and the Witch's Flower by Studio Onok was the first film to use the free version in 2017. Earlier versions of Toons have been massively used in professional productions, especially by Studio Ghibli, to produce animation movies like The Tale of the Princess Kaguya, Howl's Moving Castle, and The Wind Rises. That's it for today. We hope you found this video useful and we thank you so much for watching. And of course, we hope to see you in the next one.